Manin? Whoa, 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 wait a sec. Turn off the engine. Oh, Jesus. Turn around. Jesus Christ, you're a woman. Your application didn't say you're a woman. It did, sir. Get out of the car. I said get out of the car. What are you doing? Are you deaf? Let's go. Jesus. I said give me the keys. Listen, I'm calling a cab, and you can go home or <laughs> wherever else you want to go. What are you even doing here? Like seriously, what are you doing here? Why don't you get yourself an appropriate job? I don't know, like a like a like a housekeeper or, or secretary or no 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 no. Get a job as a waitress somewhere you need a, a short skirt. I suppose you have nice legs. Anyways, that's it. Have a nice life. Goodbye. Mr. Bateman, wait. Look, I really need this job. I don't care. There's no way I'm getting behind the wheel with a woman. I don't want to die. You're not. Give me nuts. a chance, please. I know your schedule. Even if you call for a car now, you still won't make it. It'll take a while uh, for it to arrive. And then for the cab driver to figure out the road. Right now, I'm the only one who can get you there on time. Okay. But consider this your test day. If you do good, then, you know, then I'll think about keeping you. Go. Thank you. I've got a meeting in 20 minutes. Let's go, I got no time. I'm already going 25 miles now. You said we're gonna be there on time. Let's go, step on it. <sighs> Sir, I don't actually... Go, 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 let's go. Good afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. Parking is not permitted here. Mm, yes, officer, I understand. But actually, I'm waiting for someone. And I stopped for literally half a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to move the car away. Unfortunately, there is no one around here to do this. And I'm going to let my passenger down. Look, I won't be long, really. I understand, miss, but... I can help you with it, so I'm writing you tickets. And I hope you won't do this again. I understand. What's that? It's a parking ticket. They gave it to me while I was waiting for you. So, so what do you want me to do with it? You're the one who parked here, you pay for it. Listen, pick me up at the office at six and we'll go to the address that I texted you. There's one more place we have to stop before we go home. All right? Okay. Well, go. Like, what are you waiting for? Let's go! The building's right there. Stop right here. Stop right here. I'm gonna be in there for about half an hour, okay? Wait for me here, baby. man in a blue suit walking by here. Maybe you saw where he went. Mr. Bateman? Yes. He's on the sixth floor, apartment 609. Yes? Um, I'm here to see Mr. Bateman. What? Who 
are you? My name is Michelle. I'm Mr. Bateman's new driver. He left his phone in the car and he got a call. Babe, 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 babe. It's just work, okay? I'll just be a minute, all right? Thanks. Um, Hello? Maybe you would like some coffee or water? Mm, thank you. Mm, nice. I will be inside then. No, no, of course. Pumpkin, of course I didn't forget. How could I forget? No, no, no. Work, of course. Pumpkin. Listen, I'll see you soon, okay? I'll explain everything. It's just work. All right. See you soon. Right. Bye. Hi. Pumpkin. Baby, I gotta go. There's a call. I gotta go to the office. It's an emergency. Could Sorry. Just two for a minute. Can I can't. I can't. Pumpkin. I'll text you. All right. Jeez. Go start the car. All right. Jesus, this is taking forever. God damn it. How long before we're there? Fifteen minutes. Fifty minutes. No. No. You've got ten to think of a reason why we're late. Sir, but I... Ten minutes or you're fired. Get out of the car. What? I said get out. What are you doing? Take off your jacket. What? What are you doing? Uh, roll up your sleeves. What? Roll up your sleeves. Mrs. Bateman, my name is Michelle. I'm Mr. Bateman's new driver. Uh, our the car broke down the road and uh, Mr. Bateman was in such a hurry to get home that we started fixing it right there. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry for the delay. Norman, is that true? Of course, Pumpkin, of course, it's, of course Why? it is. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me on the phone? Well, it's difficult. Look at my hands, they're covered in grease. Jesus, I was already imagining things. Thank you. Shall we go wash up and order some food, maybe? Sounds great, Pumpkin. Let's go. By the way, I wanted to borrow your car for tomorrow. Can your lovely driver give me a ride? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. No problem. Ah, wonderful. See you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait a second. I've got to something. Michelle! Pretend we're talking about my schedule, okay? I need you to order a limo in two days. Pick me up a block from the office, all right? And this stays between us. At six o'clock, okay? Okay. It's just as you suspected. He has a mistress. He was with her when you called. I know her address and the apartment number. That's great. I'll think of a way how I can use it. Mrs. Bateman. Don't call me by his last name. Just Janice. Janice. There is something else. Go ahead. He asked me to order a limousine in his name and pick him up near to his office the day after tomorrow. Interesting. Told me he's gonna be late after a corporate party for work. Let's go. And no hurry this time. Close the window, sweetie.
<laughs> May I? Pumpkin? What's going on? What's going on? Pumpkin? I'm his wife. We can go. Oh, excuse me. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I just want to enjoy it a little bit. I okay. thought it would be a bit bitter, but no, it's so sweet. Okay, you got it all wrong. Oh, shut up, Norman. So, how was it? Did you enjoy it? Huh? You can't prove anything. You know my lawyers, Janice. My lawyers, Norman. They've been working for me for so long. What? I've been preparing this for five years. Ever since the first time you're cheating on me. So, for how long you've been together? Two months. Oh, well, not bad. His record is three, but the ending is always the same. <laughs> so, in addition to today's recording, I have proof of your fraud, Norman. What? My fraud? Here on papers. But, 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 pumpkin! Don't call me that. You're bankrupt, Norman. I'm gonna eat you for breakfast. <laughs> I'll send you divorce documents tomorrow. Pumpkin. If you will ask nicely, maybe I'll find you a small apartment somewhere in the middle of nowhere, just never to see you again. <sighs> Do you want my statement? Oh, thank you, Pumpkin. That would be very helpful. Over. What are you going to do next? You can try a hand at being a mechanic. You already know the feel of oil in your hand. Oh. Throw it away, please. Jesus Christ! Oh, come on! So here comes the package I was telling you about last night. It will be the prank of the year, I promise you. Wait, 110 pounds? Are you serious? Listen, Pedro, um, Jorge. you have to take it back. I'm sorry, sir. Is that a joke? 